Hi guys, and welcome to The Family Fudge. Today I'm sharing three excellent ways to make one of my favorite appetizers, deviled eggs. First up, I'm sharing a version that's very kid friendly and very colorful too. After that, I'm making a version that happens to be my personal favorite. I like to call these glorified deviled eggs, but really all that means is I've taken the classic recipe and I've jazzed it up a bit. Lastly, I'm going to make a spicy version, one that I've seen floating around on Pinterest for a long time, but never actually made. These guys include bacon and jalapenos. Now, since I'll be making these for the first time on this video, I'm gonna show you the process of making them, I'm gonna try them, and then I'll tell you whether I give them a thumbs up or a thumbs down, so stay tuned. Today's video is part of a collab hosted by Abby over at the channel Full Time Wife Life. So later today, several other awesome YouTube moms will also be sharing their springtime recipes, perfect for Easter. So today I'm sharing an appetizer recipe, but on this playlist you'll also find recipes for ham, bread, side dishes, and dessert. So definitely check out the playlist. I will link it down below. Now, if you're finding me for the first time through this collab, welcome. I am so glad that you're here. I hope that you will enjoy this video, and I would love it if you'd consider joining my YouTube family by hitting that red subscribe button. And without further ado, let's get cracking. First up, I'm making my kid-friendly colorful eggs. Now, I'm not gonna be making a huge batch today, so feel free to double this recipe if you'd like. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and put a link to the full recipe in the description box below. For this, you're going to need seven eggs. I'm a really big fan of overstuffed deviled eggs, so I always cook one extra egg and just use the yolk. For this recipe, I'm going to boil my eggs the old-fashioned way. Now when I was a kid, we had deviled eggs at almost every family gathering, and it was my sweet Auntie Lane who always made them. So when it came time for me to make my deviled eggs, I wanted to make mine just like she did. She gave me several really good ideas on how to make perfect deviled eggs. And she told me that older eggs are easier to peel than fresh eggs. So if you're planning to make hard boiled eggs for Easter, and you wanna make sure that the eggs are easy to peel, Make sure to buy your eggs at least a week ahead of time. Two weeks would be even better. And don't worry, they will stay good in your fridge for a long time. Once I'm done peeling all of the eggs, I'm going to slice each egg in half and carefully remove the yolk. Next, it's time to dye the egg whites. For this, I'm taking a few different containers. To these, I'm just going to add water and some food coloring. Now you can add as little or as much food coloring as you prefer, and I've even heard that there are natural ways to dye the eggs as well. Personally, I've never done that, but I'm sure you can find a tutorial on Pinterest. Next, I'm going to add my egg whites to my colored water, and the longer you keep them in, the darker the color is going to be. So while my eggs are getting some color, I'm going to start on my delicious filling. I'm going to start by mashing up my yolks into a fine crumble. I'm gonna use a fork for this. If you have a food processor, you could also try that. Next, I'm going to add a quarter cup of mayonnaise, one teaspoon of white vinegar, one teaspoon of yellow mustard, and some salt and pepper to taste. And that's the thing about deviled eggs, you guys. You really have to sort of taste it as you go because some people might prefer more vinegar or more mustard or even more mayonnaise. It's totally up to you. I'm going to set my filling aside and take all of my egg whites out of the colored water. And I do wanna go ahead and rest these on a paper towel so that they can dry off. And now it's time to fill our eggs. And this part is totally up to you as well. You could just go ahead and use a spoon and spoon the filling into the eggs. But what I really like to do is make it fancy. I like to use a piping bag with a large star tip. This star tip is called a 1M and I try to make them as pretty as I can. If you don't have a star tip, you could just use a regular Ziploc bag and cut off the end. Now this last part is optional, but in my family, we like to add a little sprinkling of smoked paprika onto the tops of our deviled eggs. But you can decide whether your kids will like that or not. After all, these are the kid-friendly deviled eggs. And there you have it. These look so pretty for Easter. 
They were super simple to make and the kids will gobble them up. Next up, I'm making my glorified deviled eggs. To make this process a little easier, I went ahead and used my Instant Pot to cook my eggs. Now this was actually my first time ever using my Instant Pot. Now if you'd like to know how to make eggs in the Instant Pot, my friend Fallon over at the channel Moss Family TV has a really excellent video on this. I will link it down below, so go check it out. For this recipe, I'm going to start with seven eggs. And remember, you can totally double or triple this depending on how many people you're going to serve. And the entire recipe will be in the description box below. To this, I'm also gonna be using a quarter cup of mayonnaise, one teaspoon of yellow mustard, and here's where it gets a little bit different. I'm also going to be adding half a teaspoon of granulated onion. I'm also gonna be using about one tablespoon of dill pickle relish. Oh yes, and you're also gonna want some salt and pepper to taste. I'm also using smoked paprika, and finally, I am going to garnish these with some sliced black olives. Now you might notice that these glorified deviled eggs have a lot of the same ingredients as potato salad, minus the potatoes and celery. So think of that sort of flavor with these eggs. So just like with our traditional recipe, I'm going to slice the eggs in half and remove the yolks. Then I'm going to mash up the yolks and add all of our other ingredients. Now when it comes to the onion and the dill pickle relish, it's definitely to your taste liking. Some people might wanna add more or less. Next, all I have to do is get my filling into my eggs. Again, you could use a Ziploc bag or a piping bag. And lastly, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of paprika and add a few slices of black olives. And there you have it. These are definitely my favorite. I love the pickles in this. It really adds a nice tangy flavor. And lastly, I'm going to make those jalapeno bacon deviled eggs. Now, like I said, I've never made these before, so we're gonna make them together for the first time, and then I will tell you if I give them a thumbs up or a thumbs down. So let's get started. For this recipe, I'm going to use seven hard-boiled eggs, half a cup of mayo, about three quarters of a teaspoon of rice vinegar, half a teaspoon of yellow mustard, a quarter teaspoon of sugar, and some seeded and diced jalapenos. Now when it comes to the jalapenos, this part is totally up to you. It all depends on how spicy you want these eggs. You could use one or two. I'm just gonna use part of one and then go from there. I definitely don't want these too spicy. You're also going to need some paprika, some salt and pepper to taste, and finally, bacon. I'm using about six pieces of fully cooked and crumbled crispy bacon. Again, you wanna start by slicing them in half and removing the yolks. Once my yolks are all mashed up, I'm going to add the mayonnaise, the rice vinegar, the mustard, the sugar, the jalapeno, the bacon, and the salt and pepper to taste. Once this is all mixed up, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and add them to your eggs. Once I've filled all of my eggs, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of paprika, and then I'm gonna add some of the remaining bacon bits right on top. And now it's time to give these a try. These bacon jalapeno deviled eggs are so good. I just might have a new favorite. Okay friends, there you have it. Three very different but very delicious ways to make deviled eggs. If you enjoyed this video today, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Also, don't forget to go check out the playlist with all the other yummy Easter recipes. It's gonna be linked down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.